types and designs have been used previously, but a Westlake 80 horsepower model will be used in the production truck. Instantly air portable without need for any dismantling, the autogyro can be easily loaded onto a lightweight trailer for transport over land, giving it unparalleled mobility for an aircraft in complete and ready to fly condition. Highly maneuverable on the ground, it can be taxied under its own power with a rotor secured and turned in its own length, enabling rapid concealment in confined areas. The takeoff sequence starts with the rotor being spun up to the required speed. The rotor disc is gradually tilted back. The wheel brakes are released, the throttle is open, and automatically the rotor drive is disengaged. Rotor revs accelerate further to flying speed as the autogyro accelerates. The rotor is always also rotating. The craft cannot stall, even if there were to be an engine failure. It would simply descend to the ground under normal control, without the need for the rapid collective pitch reduction that a helicopter pilot must make. For low-angle flying and surveillance, the autogyro has another major advantage over a helicopter. Because a helicopter has a powered rotor, the air is passed down through the blades, creating a lot of air disturbance underneath called downwash. With an autogyro, the air is passed up through the blades, there being no downwash, and the rotor noise level is therefore reduced. This enables the craft to fly at very low levels without disturbing the ground or creating excessive noise. It's been used very successfully by the police for detecting a buried body in a field, and by various organizations for identifying leaking pipelines, oil slicks, crop disease, and archaeological sites. It can climb very quickly to altitudes of around 10,000 feet, and at this level, it will be almost totally unseen and unheard, obviously an advantage in avoiding detection. With the Westlake 80 horsepower engines, the absolute range of the production craft will be around 300 miles while cruising at a speed of 75 knots. In July 1982, another Wallace machine raised the altitude record to 18,253 feet, subject to confirmation. Conceived for practical working roles and incorporating many original ideas, the autogyro approaches the concept of a minimum flying machine. Yet it is safe and easy to handle, both in the air and on the ground. The well-engineered main rotor spin-up device, aided by effective main and nose wheel brakes, capable of holding high engine thrust, permits short takeoffs and landings from confined areas. Indeed, the STOL performance can be truly remarkable, depending on wind and payload. As a surveillance craft, it has many commercial and military applications. Yet, for example, civil engineering companies or local authorities can survey building sites and work in progress. Motorway building projects can be planned and inspected. These British Aerospace steady scope binoculars provide a stabilized image for detailed observation. The police can locate wanted or suspect vehicles on motorways. They can check on cars breaking the speed limits and report the details to ground patrols. Military and airport authorities can inspect airfield runways. The autogyro can provide transport for doctors and vets in remote areas and it can survey for frontier patrol work and fishery protection. Harbour companies can control and record the movement and berthing of ships. The unobtrusive nature of the autogyro, both at low and high level flying, give it a superior advantage for surveillance. During preliminary trials, some 25 landings and takeoffs were made on a moving lorry to demonstrate the relative hover capabilities of the craft. The was moving at 30 miles an hour, and there was an adverse crosswind of 15 knots.
this ability to maneuver precisely and respond quickly would be very necessary for a deck landing on a naval vessel. Bosper Thorncroft consider that their fast patrol boats and fast strike craft that lack helicopter storage or support capability would gain considerable advantage from operating an autogyro. By utilizing the wind over the deck of a fast vessel, the autogyro possesses a relative vertical takeoff and landing capability. Indeed, early experiments in the shipborne operation of autogyros predate the helicopter by a number of years. Operational roles envisaged include surveillance, reconnaissance and contact identification up to and beyond the ship's radar horizon, lightweight weapons and ECM platform, forward picket for extended range surface-to-surface -surface missile attack. A successful deck landing has already been demonstrated on initial sea trials in conjunction with Foster Thornic Rock. This landing was undertaken with a wind over the deck of only 20 knots. 